It's the middle of November. The fall colors have faded, and crop harvesting is over. American crows dot the skies, looking for leftovers. These crows are amongst the few passerine birds that remain all winter long. They are one of the most intelligent birds, being able to use tools and even recognize individual human faces. Crows are social birds. The calls that you are hearing now are for territoriality and long-distance signaling. But when crows are very close to each other, they also use subtle facial expressions for communication. As I watch these majestic birds, the cold rain beats against my face, and I realize how much more adapted they are to this environment than I am. On the bank of the Ottawa River, we meet one constant winter companion, the wind. It tells us the cold is coming in for a lengthy stay. Small ponds have already developed a thin layer of ice. The river is still flowing, but that will soon change as well. As the waves gently dissipate onto the shore, cold air starts the inevitable change from liquid to solid. One week ago, thousands of Canada geese took refuge on Dow's Lake at the experimental farm. Now, only a few remain. On the edge of Dow's Lake, little seems to be moving except the gentle branches of the willow. But perhaps a few birds have decided to stay with us a little longer. Mallards. Yes, there are still a few here but they seem to be in high-performance mode now, eating as much as possible with little time for idle swimming. This is a common merganser. Unlike mallards, which eat aquatic vegetation and small animals such as snails and shrimp, common mergansers eat mainly fish. In 2015, one common merganser was even observed stealing a fish from a great crested grebe. This is a common merganser male in breeding plumage. American Crow they seem equally adept in city environments as they are in the countryside. But what are they doing in this particular spot? They must be looking for something to eat. But what? Look at them go, hammering away at something. It certainly must be something tough. If we gently approach and look on the ground, we find what we are looking for. Acorns from the red oak tree. Crows use a variety of techniques to open them, from hammering to bringing them into branches for a better grip on the hard shell. We return to the Ottawa River a few days later. Now, we can barely see the other side. That can only mean one thing. A storm.
with rapidly dropping temperatures, there's no denying that the ice has come, and it is here to stay.